Analysis of wreckage reveals the hostile units are using strike craft ranging from fighters to combat corvettes. All pilots will be briefed in case hostiles have penetrated farther into the Karak system. On our return to Karak, the final outfit of the mothership must be accelerated in order to defend against possible future attacks. Many major mothership systems are still incomplete. We will notify Karak's missile defense system of this possible threat. The mothership will then dock with the scaffold for repairs. Stand by for hyperspace exit to Karak. Good evening. This is Maestro Cortella, back with my Let's Play of Homeworld Remastered. And we have quite an opening to this mission. This is the return to the Karak system, the third mission in the game, and we can no see that left. all is definitely not well. Everything's gone. Karak is burning. Karak is being consumed by a firestorm. The scaffold has been destroyed. All orbital facilities destroyed. Significant debris ring and low Karak orbit. Receiving no communication from anywhere in the system. Not even beacons. Wait. On the maintenance frequency, I'm getting a signal from the cryotray systems in orbit. One of them is suffering a massive malfunction. The cryotrays are under attack. attack Defend in. them. So not even a moment's rest at the start of this mission before I'm under attack. It is likely they were involved in the destruction of Karak. Capture at least one vessel for interrogation and destroy the rest. Group four reporting. Standing by. Before my defenseless cargo trays, my these storage units containing hundreds of thousands of people are being gunned down by these assault frigates, these Titan assault frigates. This is the kind of the newest class of ship that, it, the, that we've got around. And unfortunately it looks like one of those cryo trays was destroyed, wasn't able to save all six of them. But these right here are frigates. They are a kind of capital ship. They're the smallest kind of capital ship around. But as a capital ship, they are still really quite big and also rather powerful. Um, I've used my salvage corvettes to capture two of them. I actually only need to capture one. And this is one of the few times in the game, po quite possibly the, the only time in the game, when uh, these captured units will not actually become part of my army. Because I need to capture them to interrogate the crew and also to uh, research, to reverse engineer the craft itself to so that I can get the technology but the reason I'm capturing both of them or at least as many as I could was that as soon as I start capturing with the salvage frigates uh, the frigates are pretty much the frigates pretty much become inactive and they can't shoot at my stuff so that just by capturing two of them at a time I take two basically I immediately take two out of action and reduce the amount of outgoing firepower from my CPU opponent so that they can't destroy many of my cryo trays or many of my fighters or strike craft or corvettes or whatever. I have one fighter or one interceptor that I'm going to try to get to dock so that it doesn't die. Four, standing by. But, you know, Homeworld is, it's a powerful game. It sticks, it really You're sticks powerful. with people. And I mean powerful like in the sense that you would say like a movie is powerful. It sticks with you almost like either in a way that's very emotional or very thought-provoking. I would say this goes more on the emotional side. Interrogation is underway. While searching the enemy ship's computer systems, we came across these flight recordings. And we see here Stand the charred the remains of the planet of Carrick, which we just saw two missions ago, and it was fine. We even see it right here. Uh, looking just fine, but this is the playback from the flight recorder of one of those assault frigates that was attacking the cryo trays. And I'm actually not sure what this is right here. I'm guessing actually that this would be a Titan probe. And here are, of course, some salvage corvettes. They get immediately gunned down. 
by a wing of Titan strike crafts and probably some Titan interceptors. All right, now stay together. Ready, strike. As well as kind of like a fleet of Titan capital ships. And, uh, some of those capital ships, we see a bunch of frigates. There's also a carrier, and that's a destroyer right there, the one that has like the, the fins on top. We'll get to see some of those later and have to fight and destroy some of those later. On the game. We can have a glimpse of the beginning of the orbital bombardment of Carrick right there. It really gave us like only a side view. But here is a much clearer view of that orbital bombardment. We see, we can even see the shock waves from orbit, uh, from the impact. And then we go back here to the the charred surface of Karak, giving it that burst look. Analysis of the recording indicates that the Karak missile defenses heavily damaged the attacking fleet. However, we have concluded that at present they can still easily defeat us. We have therefore plotted a course to a deep space asteroid belt. There we can hide and prepare our fleet for an assault. So at this point, I'm not actually sure if there are any more enemies I even need to fight in this mission, uh, but there are the some resources I need to collect. The captured frigate. We have reverse engineered the drive technology and developed two new ships. Plans for a third vessel are underway, but will require frigate chassis research. So my main mission objective right now is just to Enemy use the neutralized. Begin salvaging the cryo trays. Basically to use the salvage corvettes right now to collect these cryo trays. Uh, and these cryo trays are basically storage units containing literally like hundreds of thousands or maybe just a hundred thousand uh, cryogenically frozen Kushan people. And I like all of this, the the fact that we're carrying these trays back to the mar mothership, the mothership, the mothership itself being incomplete as stated in the cutscene, and the way that we're, we're seeing the destroyed remains of the scaffold and the charred remains of Carrick really reinforces that feeling of vulnerability. It's very present in Homeworld, as well as that feeling of, if something can go wrong, it, it probably will. Now, as I said again, I don't think there are any more enemies that will appear. But I still have this objective to, com to complete of getting the cryo trays. Uh, I also want to get any resources that are here. And as long as I'm here, I also would want to build up my fleet a little bit. Since uh, I have I have a lot of resources stockpiled from the last mission mission that I didn't even spend. And I think I'm going to use some of those resources. I have access now to a support frigate. A support support frigates are pretty nice, actually. They can repair ships, and I think uh, strike craft Research like complete. fighters, frigates, bombers, maybe even um, maybe even corvettes can land on the support frigate and get repairs. And in the original non-remastered version, they would also get refueled. And I think that's also something that was also changed in Copy. this version of the game. Um, Group 10 reporting. Dock order confirmed. Basically, that strike craft do not have fuel anymore. They do not, well, they do not need to refuel and such. Um, so let's take a look at my, and I'm like, I'm going to be working on... I'm going to be working on building up my fleet. I, I'm definitely going to get some of these assault frigates. Uh, you know, I'll start with a batch order of three assault frigates. I need some of... Oh, you know, I think I, I, I gave a dock order to my salvage corvettes while they were in the middle of... I think I did, I, while they were in the middle of salvaging the cryo trays. So I'm going to make sure they get back out there to salvage those things. All right, all of them are ordered up. I'm building some frigates. Here are my interceptors. No, these are my scouts, not my interceptors. What I think I'm honestly going to do with these uh, with these scouts is... To be honest, I think I'm just going to scuttle them. I think there's something for a scuttle. Yeah, right here, scuttle. And I just destroyed them because I honestly don't want them anymore. Uh, that frees up a control group. I now have control group 1 to free up. Just to kind of make things a little simpler. 
because I don't really want the scouts that much. I think for the purposes of, as far as fighter class vessels go, I think the interceptors are really going to be what I want for taking on other strike craft. So I have some frigates building. Assault, frigate Assault frigates mainly. Maybe I'll even reassign my interceptors to group one. Now I have my... Let's see, I have my... The standard corvettes that I salvaged from the Tyrannic Raiders. And they have a Tiger Camo. I'm not really sure what you say Tiger Camo is in the deep dark of space. If anything, I feel like that would make them more visible. Combat and salvage. I wonder if these things can even salvage, because it says they're salvage. I also have the missile corvettes. Uh, missile corvettes, which says they are heavy bombardment. If I take a look at things, let's see. So, missile corvettes, heavy bombardment. And I haven't built any of my own corvettes, even though I have uh, many of my own corvettes. I have a light corvette as well as a heavy corvette. Uh, I think I'll focus more first on building some frigates, and then I'll see what resources I have left over for... Um, for for corvettes. I think I'm also going to batch order Cryo three frigates. 500,000 people secured. Cryo trays loaded and secure. Hyperspace module charged. There's nothing left for us here. All right. Looks like well, there's nothing left as far as mission objectives. I will probably edit the rest of this out except for the part where I um have where I actually go into hyperspace, but I do, of course, want to finish building my fleet as well as getting the rest of their resources. Alright, so before we go into hyperspace and advance onto the next mission, I just want to show you a little bit of how I, ex ex how I have expanded my fleet. Uh, I've made now actually five of those new assault Copy. frigates. Ecology. We'll get a close-up on one of them. So this is a frigate and its role is anti-fighter and anti-corvette, so it should be strong against those types of units. So it's a nice little ship. Well, maybe not that little. And it's got guns that... Are, it's hard to really see where the guns are until you actually see it firing, but... It's kind of got one on the top and two on the sides, and I, I think. And I think even uh, those pair of circles on both sides, I think maybe something comes out of there as well. Some kind of munitions, that is. So this is my assault frigate. I've got five of them. Uh, I've also decided to make some of my own corvettes before I had captured some of the Tyrannic Raider corvettes. And I have some of my own corvettes here. Here is a light corvette. So that's the light corvette. But the heavy corvette is not much more expensive. So I built one of the light corvettes just to see it and, well, test it out. But I think I'm just going to go with the heavy corvettes since they seem to just be better than light corvettes and not for that much many more resources. Um, additionally, even the light corvette seems to outclass the tyrannic raider corvettes that I have. Because if we look at these, uh, it has a speed rating of 175, attack rating of 29, whereas my light corvette is both faster and has a better attack rating. Uh, so does the heavy Corvette for that matter. So it really seems like the... basically my own Corvettes are more powerful than my captured ones of the Tyrannic Confirm. Raiders. Which, I mean, I guess means ultimately I would prefer to just have these Reporting. instead of the Confirm. standard Corvettes. But, I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep these alive for now because Setting I was by. able to get them without actually spending my own resources to make them. Uh, although, ultimately, at some point in the game, I may choose to scuttle them or just lose them and then replace them with my own Corvettes. Alright, with that being said, time to go on to the next mission of Homeworld Remastered. Stand down. We're on hold. 